If you've never cruised before, it's easy to get caught up in half-truths and misconceptions about what it actually entails. It's easy to think that it's an expensive and restrictive way to travel for the older demographic. However, we're here to tell you that that's an outdated idea and could not be further from the truth. So we're here to debunk five of the biggest cruise myths right now. Starting with number one. Cruises are only for ages 65 plus and couples. It might feel like this is the case sometimes, but this myth really just isn't true of a modern day cruise. So if you're asking yourself or the internet, are cruises just for the older demographic? The answer is no. Like any form of travel, cruises really are for everyone to enjoy. Sure, some cruise lines angle themselves towards the needs of certain demographics, but there are cruises that cater to anyone and everyone. And the same can be said when it comes to the best cruises for couples. These are oftentimes also fantastic cruises for singles and solo cruises to enjoy. Most cruises are family friendly and with dedicated kids clubs and entertainment for young people almost always on offer. There are several cruise lines that angle themselves specifically at young people with pools and parties aplenty. And larger vessels oftentimes have multi-room suites and interconnected cabins available for larger groups of guests. And if you identify with any part of the LGBTQ plus spectrum, you'll find that there are cruise holidays specifically catered towards this. Some of the best lines for LGBTQ plus travelers offer itineraries packed with exciting events and activities for you to enjoy. Not only this, but cruises are actually very accessible for anyone with mobility issues, hearing or visual impairments, as well as people on the autistic spectrum. The top accessible cruise lines are going above and beyond to cater each year with those who require assistance. Myth number two, you have to stick to the cruise ship schedule. While you find that a cruise ship schedule is something you'll encounter, with an itinerary of each day's activities and entertainment potentially limiting what you can and can't enjoy while sailing, you're in no way obliged to stick to that when you're on your holiday. Of course, you can't quite hop off a cruise ship whenever you feel like it, as there will be days you're out in the middle of the ocean, but you'll never find yourself forced to take part in any event or even be forced to disembark when you stop at a port. There will though be some cases where you find your onboard options limited if you don't get involved with what's going on. For example, you will find onboard dining options limited during formal nights if you decide not to adhere to the elevated dress code on some cruise lines. However, beyond that, you should find that you're able to pick and choose what you want to do and when you want to do it, with a variety of short excursions available, often multiple entertainment venues on every ship, and always a fantastic selection of lounges and bars to relax in. You'll have more than enough options and able to cruise however which way you want. Myth 3. I'll feel claustrophobic and stuck on a cruise ship. If you're worrying about feeling claustrophobic during a cruise holiday, you're far from alone. But rest assured, you should have nothing to worry about unless you suffer from a particularly severe case of claustrophobia. You are going to be confined to the cruise ship when you're sailing between ports, but that doesn't mean you'll be locked away in your cabin. And a lot of this traveling is done at night when you're busy with other things. Not only this, but the cabins and suites you'll be staying in are often quite spacious, and many come with access to private balconies or verandas, so you'll find yourself with more than enough opportunities to step out into the open air. That is, if you don't fancy a stroll around one of the upper decks, it will be easy to escape that feeling of being stuck inside while on board. Myth 4. Getting on and off cruise ships will take forever. We have some of the biggest cruise ships in the world hosting upwards of 5,000 guests at one time. It's easy to think that you'll be stuck in a queue clutching at your suitcases when trying to embark or disembark. And no one wants that sort of stress when it comes to something as simple as getting on and off a ship. However, this is far from reality of the situation. Cruise lines take care to ensure that this process is as pain-free as possible. When getting onto a cruise ship, you'll often have the option to check your luggage beforehand so you can head on without it. Then, while you're on board enjoying everything on offer, your luggage will be delivered to your cabin or suite later that day. If you want to make sure you have an easy embarkation, keeping important documents to hand and packing the essentials in your hand luggage can make the process a little less painful. Then, when it's time to get off the ship, you'll likely be given a time to disembark so you can avoid any lengthy queues. Often, you'll have the option to leave your luggage outside your cabin the night before you disembark. 
This will then be taken off the ship and placed in an area where you can collect it ahead of leaving the port. Myth number five, food and drink will be expensive on board. Like any other type of holiday, cruise ship food and drink can be as expensive as you want it to be during your stay. With most cruise lines, you'll find that all of your meals will be included in your fare within a limited selection of restaurants. So you won't need to worry about going hungry if you don't want to spend much more than your initial cruise price. However, you will often find that there's a wider selection of speciality restaurants and bars that may not be included in your fare, meaning they'll require additional charges. If you opt for an all-inclusive cruise though, you may find these include speciality dining options and cruise drinks packages. It really does all depend on your fare, and in some cases, the cabin you choose. You won't need to bankrupt yourself if you don't want to. Cruise drinks can certainly add up if you're not being careful. If you feel all of these myths have been debunked for you and you're ready to head off on your exciting cruise holiday, you can check out all the best cruise deals on the link above or in the description below. With so many options, you won't have any trouble finding something to suit your tastes, needs and budget. On the Planet Cruise YouTube channel, we have so much more cruise content, from cruise tips to full deck by deck ship tours. So be sure to check us out, subscribe and click that bell icon so you never miss a new video. And until next time, Happy cruising.